Hello guys and welcome to a new Still Division video today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you Mission 2 of the Mission Boston campaign, Blood on the Risers. The mission order is as follows. Major Warren, 4th Infantry Division is moving inland, expanding the beachhead. But the success of Overlord is still in the balance. Our paratroopers have been dropped in a somewhat cavalier manner and regimental objectives are being held by mere companies and battalion. We need to reinforce them. Your objective, with the advanced elements of the 4th Infantry Division under your command, is to get to St. Mericles as fast as possible to secure the 505th Parachute Regiment. They are too few and almost out of munitions. Get to them, resupply them, and help them to fight off the German counterattacks. You will get priority support from the Air Force and Navy guns to help clear your way for that mission. Main objective, link up with the paratroopers in St. Mericles. Let's get on with it. 4th Infantry Division is still in the process of landing, but the Germans are starting to react and closing on the beachhead from all sides. The 505th in St. Mariglis reports being under siege. We have to reinforce them ASAP with any help the 4th Infantry Division can provide. St. Mariglis is surrounded on all sides, Major. Colonel Ekman, the 505th CO, reports heavy shelling and infantry attacks from the north, while tanks and armored vehicles, mostly French captured ones, are attacking from the south. Up west, a grenadier regiment has taken defensive position, preventing the 505th from reinforcing our other regiments at the Merderay's bridges. Colonel Ekman also reports some German paratroopers elements taking position east of the city, but not attacking. They must be there to prevent anyone from relieving our garrison. The 505th is running out of ammo. We must break through to them with supplies, then repel the German assaults until they back down. St. Mary is under attack. Compose your battle group. Let's compose our battle group. Okay, so we have a completely clean slate to start with this time around. The main task of our recon units should be to detect ambushed infantry and anti-tank guns on the road to St. Mary Glees in order for our supply trucks and Sherman DD to reach the village safely. We're going to take the Pathfinders. I'm also going to take the recon in the M20s again, and that should be just fine. As for our infantry, we're going to continue with airborne leaders. I will bring in those airborne rifles again since they are very useful. And I will also go for the glider leader. May as well bring in that last unit of airborne rifles there. And maybe some airborne engineers. Although I'm more tempted to bring in 50 cows in phase B. Sherman DD are amphibious tanks which broke through from Utah Beach yesterday. Use them to open the way to St. Mary Glees. But be weary of enemy anti-tank guns. So we've got loads of M4s available from the first mission. We're going to take two in phase A and then an extra two in phase B. It is imperative that we bring a significant number of supply vehicles to replenish the 505th stock. Supply jeeps have a limited capability, but they're immediately available. They can be used to resupply our troops in St. Mary Glees while waiting for ducks or even captured Opal trucks later on. So we're probably just going to bring in the jeeps and the ducks because resupplying in this mission is quite important. But having both of these M7 DDs in phase A is probably the most vital part of this mission. As for anti-tank, we're just going to rely on the M3 guns again with the M1 guns in phase B. Our artillery could dislodge enemy anti-tank guns threatening the road to St. Mary Glees. We've also received artillery observers, OP, who may call long-range heavy artillery strike. These strikes are very efficient, but take some time to be effective. I think what I'm going to do in Phase A is get the M1 howitzers with the M3 howitzers in Phase B. The Air Force has designated to assist us. Grasshoppers can detect enemy ambushes. P-51s with bombs destroy their combat positions. And P-47s rockets and... 
Yeah, apologies for cutting that off. But I think what the we're going to do is assist. get some grasshoppers. Can detect enemy ambushes. P-51s with bombs destroy their combat positions, and P-47s rockets engage against guns and vehicles. Okay, just got to figure out what I want to cut in order to do this. And I'm actually tempted to take out maybe a card of infantry. Let's go for those grasshoppers. Should be all. Let's validate it and carry on. So the reason I'm bringing the grasshoppers is to mainly spot the AT guns. Then I can probably use the P-51 Mustangs to bomb them. Um, and that would allow my M4 DDs to just have free reign over the battlefield. So we're going to go like double M4 start. Actually, let's go an M4 and an M7 DD. Then what we're going to do is have one of those grasshoppers. We'll have a Mustang. And at the start, we'll just go for one unit of, of infantry because we get 70 points per minute, which means I can bring in a couple of extra airborne rifles after the start. That will do. Get this underway. I'm just going to attack, move my units forwards. Actually, a Panzer Shrek there. Let's bomb that. Unless it gets uh, mown down by the 50 cal. Which could happen. Okay, we actually missed it in the end. But what we can do is strafe it. If we have to. I'm probably just going to evac for now. Ocean Panzer out there. Okay, so there's quite a lot of infantry stuff that we have to worry about. Just going to get these guys to move forwards a bit more aggressively. Then we shall unload. Make sure we kill that Panzer Shrek. We need to just stay over the top of those. In order to take them out. Yes, sir. We're nice okay, that's one down. Roger. And there goes the other Panzer Shrek. Yes, Brilliant. But having a grasshopper here is just like totally useful. It's like one of the best things to have in this situation. I do need to take out this Valshamega if I can. Just trying to get into range to surrender them. There we go. But we do need to be careful of the LG. I don't really want to engage that with my M7DD. But I can engage it with the M4 because it has the armor to just bounce off the front. Okay. Let's bring in a couple more infantry. Well, I'm actually more tempted to bring in some recon for the ground so that we don't have to keep relying on this grasshopper. Okay, there we go. That's great. Now we can start moving forward with the M7 more aggressively. Well, let's make sure that those Fauci pads out there die. That's good. Avoiding all these Pandrek ambushes is so important. Because otherwise you waste so many units. Good. And that's another Panzerschreck gone. I'm going to move forwards enough that I can help engage the Falschmjägers here. And then I'm going to afford myself another M7. If I can get bombs onto the Falschmjägers Abwehr here, I should probably hit those. Okay, 
I can't believe we didn't actually end up killing that. That's crazy. Bring in another grasshopper. They're really useful if we're not under threat from any aircraft. Like, we may as well be using as many recon aircraft as we can. We've created a corridor. We'll just continue to hit as many units as we can. I'm still going to have the Mustang strafe these units on the ground. There we go, and we can take out the one on the other side. Gonna fly all the way down this right side. Standing by. Fox one, attacking. Okay, and that Mustang can get out. Yes, sir. I should probably try and get the other Mustang online. So let's do that. And I'll just bomb this MG34 so that I don't have to worry about engaging it with the airborne rifles. Like at least then it will be pinned. When you think you're too close, go in closer. Okay, next things to do would be to move up aggressively with the M7DD. Unless I want to take on the Falchion Jaegers here. But that's the Falchion Panzer Abbey I dealt with. Next thing would be to get some supply into the center. Uh, let's pull these guys back. I'll get some airborne leader in with us and then what we're going to do is bring in some supply. We'll just go round and pick up all of those units. Good. Now that's the MG34 dead. Now let's move forwards. The M7DD. That should get line of sight somewhere around here. So move it up that far and then attack move from there. Another MG down. Now I'm going to save for the second M7. Then what I will need is plenty of tanks to help with the defense. We've made contact with the first elements of the 500 bits, sir. Their communications have broken down. They're asking for orders. Where do you want it? All right. Boys from the 505th have salvaged a German 88 millimeter gun, but they need ammo to feed it. Where do you need it? Let's just reload all of that. Have the Mustang come in with the bombs. Make sure that the airborne leader is pushing up. Good. Right, we've already used up all of that supply, so let's just bring in a couple more. I'm going to jump into that building. I'm going to hop forwards. Break line of sight briefly. We'll wait until the airborne leader gets in range. And we can jump in the building. And meanwhile, I should be trying to help out against these Falchion Jaegers, but... It doesn't look like that M7 really wants to help out. It doesn't have line of sight. Oh, 
They look like ants from up here. Okay, let's have that Mustang leave so that we can have another one come in. We'll hit the Falchion Fjord here. Oh, no, we lost the unit. Tragic. I don't know what the rifles are doing, actually. There's no reason to be moving there, really. Okay, let's not waste all of the ammunition here. Just want to make sure that they have some bazookas. Need a light, sir. I don't think I really need the glider Let's rifles go. on the edges. At your eh, maybe I can do. I just have to put them on return fire. Let's go. They're waiting on us. Roger, control. Okay, so we've got defense on the left side. I could do with a little more on the right side. I'm tempted to have my M7DD start pushing back on itself. Let's uh, get rid of the P51, let that sort itself out. And we're going to head up to the top here and help out there. And let's make sure that comes back the right direction. Meanwhile, this Jeep Supply can just drive away so that doesn't die. This one can also drive away. Okay, uh, may as well bring back the 50 cal since that is very low on health. And now it's just a matter of bringing in as many M4s as I can get. Uh, let's move the 88 to like here, so it's got line of sight both ways. Or maybe what I could do is just give it an order to attack move all the way up. Anyway, we have ourselves a little corridor to work with. Let's move the M7 to help out against those fashion makers on the right side. We're going to have to wait until phase C for the ducks. Well, that's okay. Uh, let's bomb this cube of munition and maybe we can uh, make that blow up behind the Panzer 35. Okay, this Jeep needs to leave. Oh, did it die? No, it didn't. But the 50 cow died. I'm going to have to be very careful actually. Uh, with how I engage this because the IG is uh, doing a lot of damage. I guess I could just bring up the M7DD at the top here. Okay, not sure what was here, but there is something. Bring in a couple of tanks. Yeah, that's just some foul me, I guess. Sir, yes, sir. Probably shouldn't have unloaded the uh, airborne rifles. That was dumb. Okay, so best bet here is just to make sure that my 50 cal gets back. And get the 30 cal back. And these airborne rifles are way too far forwards. The airborne leader can therefore sit behind all of them. Yes, sir. Right, glad I took out those fashion because that could have been quite annoying. Let's now bring in the grasshoppers on the right and left side just to make sure that we can see everything we need to. Waiting for instructions, sir. Orders are to shoot on sight. I might want to invest in some artillery now to hit their artillery. The best way to do that would probably get the off map. Eighty-eight. They've got a damn eighty-eight millimeter. Be careful. Okay, the eighty-eight on the right side is a problem. I 
if I can't afford the off map, I should be able to, yeah, that'd be perfect. I was going to say if I couldn't afford it, then I would have uh, bought uh, the other artillery instead. But we can see everything that's happening. Uh, let's just bomb these FKs. I'll hit, I'll hit them with the second Mustang as soon as I can as well. I'm out. Over. If that's an order, that remo removes that support, that's great. The Phase C is coming in 5 minutes. Just gonna switch around a few of these units. And I should probably have the M4 move up from the bottom side here. We can cut off a lot of these forces. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, let's move back the Pathfinders. I want these fast Jaegers to die. <laughs> I'm not sure how close I'm going to be able to get this off map, but if I can get it on top of that 88, then I will. We don't have much ammo on the 50 cal. Move that back to the center then. This Mustang's ready to go. Let's bomb the FK again. Okay, we should be in range to hit it. Yeah, we are. But let's just off map that so that my aircraft can sit around in the sky. Then we'll put some off map onto like the larger chunks of infantry, which is a yeah, lot more obvious. Uh, the other thing that I should probably do is make sure that I get the rest of these smaller units under my control. And also get these M4s into the town because they've just been sitting there. <laughs> it's really dumb. Okay, my Mustang managed to get the better of the FK. That's good. Yeah, let's just have this jeep go there and then to there. And we'll get control of those. Hopefully one of the off map will hit on target. Okay, it didn't. <laughs> That's uh, kind of annoying. Alright, well we're going to put an off map strike here because... That's going to hit the mark quite nicely. And we're cutting up off forces from this side quite nicely by occupying these buildings. But let's uh, watch this off map in just a second. Next thing I need to do is take care of this artillery. Let's uh, bomb this FK now. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Plenty of damage done there. Okay, where is my off map? There it is. I think I'm going to go for an artillery strike onto these LEFHs over here. Is that only one? I think it might be. There might be a second one there. We'll go have a look with the grasshopper and then I can get a really nice shot with the off map potentially. Or not. I don't really want to move too close to this road with the GPA. Mm. I think what I'm going to do is just put it over here. And then we'll just have that go back to base. Great.
There is two artillery pieces there, but I do have the ability to bring in these M3 howitzers, so I'm going to do that. And we'll just counter battery. The other thing that I need to do is bring in these ducks in uh, 50 seconds. I'm hoping that off map hits the mark though and destroys the 88. We can actually have a look. Let's just bring in the grasshopper. I don't think he's dead, otherwise the objective would have completed. Which is uh, really silly. I brought in the Mustang instead of the Grasshopper. That's a 50 cal dead. So far, so good. Been relatively simple. Gonna make sure these are in range. Yeah, that's still well alive. I guess we could unload them early and just use them to finish off the flak 88 here. And we'll have the airborne rifles move down. We'll have these pathfinders join the M7 and the airborne rifles move there. Meanwhile, the M3 howitzers should be firing at the 88. I don't know why this one isn't. Maybe the angle is a bit off. Anyway, we have a nice marker there that we can use. And I should have more tanks available. Oh, I lost my M7. Shit. That wasn't good. I guess I've already got one in the center, but I've only got three in total. Unless I lost one and didn't realize. Regardless, we're still doing okay. We've only got to hold for another three minutes and thirty seconds. They're coming, and they brought those damn B1 with them. I've got M4s. That should be just fine. Counter battery this FK. Uh, if I can get some command nearby, then I probably should. This gun. This AT8. Alright, is it dead now? <laughs> There's the Nebelwerfer. Oh, we do get an airstrike uh, for completing that side objective. That's very kind of them. I don't think there's been that many casualties, considering. Yeah, we're fine at the moment. I don't even think there's anything I really want to bring in. Keep strafing that Nebelwerfer, although it has already fired. It's set the whole in town are like <laughs> to make sure that my men aren't standing in it unnecessarily all that f all those flames we'll have the grasshoppers come back in now as well since we can have a look at what's going on freely my airborne rifles down here must have died Got caught out by the Falschermakers somehow. Stand and 
one guy left. <laughs> we'll leave him to tell the story. Let's just bomb him. Lovely, lovely. Just get rid of that big old salient behind our lines. I don't even have to unload the air bomb rifles there. I'm going to have a Mustang come in and bomb this uh, Kubel munition. Actually, that's uh, the one that's already in the sky. Maybe we can strafe the Kubel munition to make it blow up. It's going to move away from the mortars. That's annoying. I mean, in all seriousness, we could probably actually break out if we wanted to. Uh, quite simply by just attack moving out of the town. Be ready. The Germans are pulling back, sir. The siege is lifted. Great. And that's victory. Just like that. 25 minutes and 6 seconds. Job well done. Now, my losses were a little bit higher in this mission than they were in the last. I got a little bit careless. Uh, looks like we lost an M4DD to a Panzerschreck. Not sure when that happened. Potentially on the left side. I'm sure one of you guys will point it out for me. But either way, uh, the 88 killed the M7DD in the end. I thought it was one of those stupid packs, but turns out it was that one health flak 41 that stayed alive through two off map two off map strikes and uh, a bunch of artillery which is quite something but uh, there we go it happens gonna leave us with one less m4 dd to work with and the m7 dd which is unfortunate because the m7 dds are very very useful lost uh, a few machine guns here and there but look at the kills the m4 dds the m7 dd those airborne rifles that is one hell of a kill list for some airborne rifles that's for sure we have the P-51 Mustangs getting involved. So many kills on so many units. I think we probably could have got some really good off-map strikes in that uh, mission if I'd taken more off-map from the start. I uh, just uh, wasn't entirely sure how clumped up they'd be. But if I was to do that again, I think I'd probably take two cards of off-map and only one cards of the howitzers. But either way... Easy done. That's all for now. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you with the next mission. Goodbye.